Hi everyone, Tams here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about planning. Now this video is in two parts. Part one, I'm going to share my thoughts on planning and project management. And in part two is where I will give you the overhead view of my actual planner and just share with you how it is set up. So if you're not interested in my uh, talking and rambling, feel free to just skip on through and, and head on to the setup. Okay, planning. I have been very hesitant to do this video uh, because I feel like there are tons of videos about planners and planning and planner setups and I enjoy watching them and everyone has these beautiful beautiful uh, planners out there and they're fun and quite frankly my planner now not my journal not the journal that I keep in my Midori Traveler's Notebook but my planner what we would call a planner notebook is not pretty <laughs> it's pretty boring <laughs> that being said I have been keeping a notebook of some sort for planning for over 25 years and it pretty much all started with this yeah I know this is old it's about 25 years old I rem remember reading this when I was in college in Raleigh North Carolina all my friends were reading it and the company that I immediately went to work for right after graduation actually paid for all of us engineers entering engineers to take a class on time management because you were expected to have your act together and to be able to manage your time. And we were actually given something, I don't know if you remember these, I know everyone is probably familiar with Filofax, but we were actually given, uh, it looked like a Filofax, but it was called a Franklin Covey time management system. I still have mine somewhere. I didn't take the time to find it. I should have done that. Like I said, I've always kept a notebook. Here is a, here are a couple of examples. Just plain, simple, nothing special. Notebooks my entire life, in addition to the uh, Franklin Covey notebook that we kept years ago. Uh, now, in between all that, uh, I was constantly being given the latest gadgets for my jobs, and so there were periods when we were trying to go all digital and uh, paperless and things like that, and so I've been through all that. I've tried just about everything, and at the end of the day, I still always needed to have some type of notebook, at the very least, just to keep daily lists and because I enjoy drawing a box beside my task and I very much enjoy checking that box. I don't know, it's probably some kind of wiring in my brain, but it's very fulfilling to put pen to paper and check. So I've been doing this for quite a long time. Uh, as far as project management and things like that, um, I have had to use so many types of digital systems, you know, probably the most well known is Microsoft Project. Um, trackers, Gantt charts, you name it, I've probably had to use it, try it, uh, report on it, and um, that's all great, and that's usually, that's what I'm used to, is a very digital, now digital way of keeping tracks of projects. Uh, several years ago, I started noticing a lot of these planner videos on YouTube back in the Filofax days when everyone was sharing their Filofax. And I was pleasantly surprised because I do believe that um, keeping a planner of some sort will help you get things done. Um, I enjoyed watching people decorate them and, um, you know, put them together and get excited about all this stuff. I, I found, found it very entertaining to watch. Um, I still needed to keep my planner notebook fairly simple and plain because if I were to walk into some of the meetings I would go to with washi tape all over a planner, I'd probably get a few weird looks. Everyone's very serious in my left brain world. Um, but I did enjoy watching what all you guys are, are doing out there, and I think it's great. If it helps you to get things done, keep doing it. Um, like I said, I never thought my planner was interesting enough for anyone to uh, take notice of. But I did have a friend last year was looking at how I kept my notebook and she said, you really should share this. I was like, okay, um, I really don't know how to do that. <laughs> it 
because a lot of your you know your planner information is, is um, kind of tied to your work and it's, you don't always want to share that um, but I got really excited last year when I started watching the Boho Berry videos. That's uh, Cara Benz, and I'll link her channel below. Um, because what she was doing is she was taking what was called bullet journaling, and she she jazzed it up and made it very creative. And I think that was very attractive to a lot of people. And uh, what she was doing, and this whole concept of bullet journaling is very much what I have seen over the years. Lots of engineers do. It's just, you know, they just don't have the pretty notebook. Uh, some of them just write it on the back of cards. And But the way of setting up monthly goals and ta daily tasks and, you know, knocking out things like that. Um, she was really the first one I saw that was using a creative outlet to teach true time management and project planning and I was really excited and I actually got to meet her at the Atlanta Pen Show and very hardworking uh, young lady. So I'll insert a photo here to prove that I met her. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed her very much. So I decided to watch a few more of her videos to see if I could take what I was already doing and um, add some of her touches. And I have been working on the new style of bullet journaling for the past couple of months. I've tried a lot of things and I'm ready for 2017. I have found some things that seem to work for me and my way of doing it. So um, I definitely don't think that your planners have to be pretty, whatever it takes to get things done. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. You can see I already have made mistakes because <laughs> I just, I don't have time to keep a practice journal and then copy it over so that my handwriting is beautiful. Um, but it is nice to cut certain titles. You know, it's fun to play with your handwriting and make it pretty if that's important. One big thing I want to point out, um, there's tons of books out there uh, that help you with goal setting and time management and things. But this one that I shared earlier, this one has stuck with me my entire life. There's been a part of this that has it just stayed. And it's very important, uh, as I see a lot of people doing planners and planner videos, um, it's very important to know why you're, you're doing things every day. It's very important to know where you're spending your time and if your time is being spent in the areas that are important to you. So every year, sometimes twice a year, I do set goals and resolutions and then that trickles down into my daily tasks because I want to make sure, you know, time is golden, time is a new luxury, and I want to make sure my time is spent the best that I can spend it. And um, I do think, uh, I'm a big fan of this bullet journaling uh, trend because it's one of the best ways I've seen for uh, people to actually think about these things and and get things done so yeah without further ado I'm going to um, share with you how I set up my bullet journal okay here is my 2017 planner setup as you can see I am using a basic black Midori traveler's notebook I have three inserts Starting on the outside, I think everyone has seen this trick by now, but you can take a bulldog clip and clip it on the side and use it as a pen holder. I use a very simple black pen. I prefer microns, but there's all types out there, so whatever your preference. And then inside, as I mentioned, I have three different inserts. Now, I have in the back here, this is my project notebook, which I'm not going to share with you uh, because you know certain information you just want to keep private in the middle I have a monthly calendar and I'll flip through that very quickly now as I mentioned before all my appointments calendars everything are digital but I do like to keep these month at a glance type calendars in in here because uh, in particular these Midori ones these are great for marking your travel we will have some travel coming up in the year. I have not planned that out yet, but this is a great place to, you know, a year at a glance to mark your travel. And then 
I like to use uh, the month at a glance to just kind of pencil in um, my fun events and my side events, things that I'm doing on the side, like uh, maybe teaching a class or going to an arts event or just things that um, are fun, you know, just so you can plan around them and, and work those in. And then in the front, I did put a cover on this, but this is a, let me show you the blank part. This is a Midori grid insert. I'll link below the insert numbers that I'm using. And I have turned this one into a bullet journal. And I have watched lots of videos, as I mentioned, and I have been playing around with this for the last few months. I was doing it in another notebook, but I decided to switch to the grid back in November, and I do like it very much, and I will flip through very quickly. I think most of you that are familiar with bullet journals, you know that there's tons of videos out there if you want to get into the details of what is included, how to set it up, that sort of thing. So here's what I've got so far. Um, I am trying to do the index thing. I'm not sure if I like it just yet, but I've been doing it for November and December. And um, honestly, I'm not really sure what the point of it is, but if, if there is a point, I'm sure I will get it a little later. And I do set up a November log and a November task. I kind of like this. Um, it's just nice to go back and remember a few things that happened. And also, this is great for um, project planning, too. When you already, when you fill in, before the month is up, when you fill in this information, you can kind of plan backwards using it. Um, here are some, the I tried to do something different with Paper Tam's posts. Didn't really work out like I wanted, but oh well. And then I do love now... I love the tracker idea. I've seen this on several um, bullet journal videos, and I really enjoyed that. And you can you can just see like wow, you can quickly determine areas that you may want to work on with these trackers. I really like doing this in this analog way instead of traditionally. I've used all kinds of digital trackers. And I have found putting pen to paper for the tracker has been quite a bit of fun. And then I do the dailies. So here's the, you know, November. And I did, um, you know, people add in notes as, as you're going along doing your dailies. You know, people add in notes and things like that. And I did the 17 in 2017. This is my December setup so far and task. And then um, I can go into this more. This is where I talked about setting up your goals and these are my goals resolutions whatever you want to call them for 2017 I use a mind map and then what comes out of this little exercise pretty much determines what my tracker is going to be for the month and if you'd like for me to go over that in detail I'll be happy to do it um, it's a little too much information for right now and then my December dailies have started so I am going to keep this up throughout the new year and see how it works but so far I am enjoying this so yeah there is my planner setup that's it thank you so much for watching guys I really appreciate it bye